it to Hualien. Trail's not bad. It's like three hours and 20 minutes. rainy here. It's gonna rain this week, but uh, when I was walking to Poya to get some of the things that I needed, I noticed that like even just walking down the streets, all you see is like mountains that are surrounding you, and then you can see the clouds up in the sky. I don't know. I really, I really love that. It kind of reminds me of Nagano. Yeah, I just checked into the hotel room. This room's pretty nice. Nice flooring. The bed is massive. Oh, the bathroom's massive. I think I want to go to a coffee shop that's close to here that has cats. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway, okay, love you. Okay, bye. right outside my hotel. So this coffee shop that I'm going to is only about a three minute walk from my hotel. It's called Kohi, which actually is coffee in Japanese. I found it, but I don't think it's open. That place was closed, which is fine. So it's a bit later now and I ordered dinner and I'm just gonna tuck in for the night. beds are so comfortable. Maybe just my bed at home is super hard. I don't know. Ugh. Good morning. It is approaching 7 a.m. I decided to get breakfast myself and I didn't get it with the hotel. Um, so today I am taking a guided tour down to here. I contacted a tour guide company and kind of like asked them about their tours and what they recommend and this was one of them. So I am going to be learning for the first time along with you guys on this tour. I'm excited to eat breakfast, learn about this place that we are going to, and don't forget to bump these videos up to 4K because I will be showing you guys Hualien in 4K. Let's go. My local tour guide picked me up at my hotel and took me to the popular Far Glory Hotel in Hualien. So not only is this place top rated in the county, the views around the property are also stunning. This central mountain range, what you can see here, runs from all the way almost to the north of Taiwan to the south of Taiwan. Right, so the mountain range, uh, I mentioned before in videos that two thirds of Taiwan is made up of mountains. A lot of mountains are here, which is why hiking, and a lot of nature sports are quite popular. Another part Hualien is famous for is this fruit right here used by the Amis tribe. It turns orange and becomes juice. Speaking of the Amis tribe, our next pit stop will allow us to learn a little bit more about their hunting techniques. We just made a little pit stop on the side of the road to this little school here that sometimes you can shoot archery at, which you can see there. We're not doing that today, but the Amis tribe is actually one of the biggest Aboriginal tribes here in Taiwan, and a lot of them live here in Hualien. And this is a style bow that is used to catch fly fish, I think that's what it is. You can see here, these little pegs. Nets are attached to it, so you don't even have to go fishing for the fish. They literally just fly right into the net. So you can see it goes from here all the way to here. I don't know if you can see that, but there's also little ridges. I imagine that's probably for the nets. And then after the fish are caught, usually they're dried, but sometimes they're smoked. Currently we are on the way to Cow Mountain and there's little signs I was told around here and I saw it. All I could understand was cow though. But it says, please drive like a cow, how, like how a cow walks because the roads are not very good. So, you know, a cow walks very slow, which means drive cautiously. Niu Shan Hu Ting in Chinese literally translates to Cow Mountain. And it's a small beach cove with great views of the ocean and Taiwan's central mountain range. 
It's a little more secluded, which is great if you're looking for a more off the beaten path glimpse into Hualien. This beach also has its own special feature. The sand looks kind of different, right? It's quite dark, almost looks black, and that's from the volcano. And I think a lot of the beaches in Hualien have like this kind of sand. All this and over there is Niu Shan. <gasps> Cow Mountain. Can you see the shape of the cow? I'm gonna point it out to you. So there is kind of the head and then the horns go down like the sculpture at the front of this little beach area. And then this is the body. I was told that in feng shui, if you don't want like something bad or someone bad to do something to you, you can use a very dark stone kind of like this one and put it in your desk to rid off the kind of like negative energy there's actually a trail that you can take around here but tourists we're not allowed to take it we got a lot of breath beautiful i love the black sand it's so different from what i've seen in canada tucked in right next to the beach is a small cafe that also runs as a bnb I loved that many parts of the B&B and cafe are made from refurbished driftwood that floats in from the Pacific and a few other kinds of materials are used, like this fiberglass made into a swing. Even the door is in itself unique. It can open into like a half circle. Hopefully I don't mess this up, I'll show you. I feel like these are probably all made from driftwood that's coming from the typhoon as well. You can stay at one of their quaint cabins and my guide also told me that this place is pet friendly for all of my other pet owners out there. A cool fact about this spot is that a famous movie was actually filmed here not too long ago. Some of you might have already watched it in fact. The film's name is Silence and it has some big Hollywood heavy hitters like Adam Driver, Liam Neeson and Andrew Garfield. Be loud, brush your ears. Sorry. <laughs> I found the fruit. Found it. Do you see it? It's turning yellow slash orange. Should be ready soon, I think. And in Chinese, it's called Ling Tou. The next stop we made was at Fan Shu Liao, or also known as Bridge 18. This spot also has deep roots with the Amis tribe in Taiwan. A long time ago, the Amis tribe, if you wanted to be a chief, you would take a very long bamboo stick and you have to kind of propel yourself from one side to the other. And if you can do it, then you can become the chief. This area is also known as the Forest of the Braves. The gorge itself is 45 meters wide and 70 meters tall. Vaulting from one side to the other is difficult and dangerous, and many youths have attempted but lost their lives. This is not in practice today. This is one of the only beaches you can swim at in Hualien because of kind of like the bay. The current is not so strong because it's protected and blocked. And you can go paragliding from the mountains and usually they land somewhere around here, I think right over there. After driving around Hualien for the first part of the day, seeing its sights, we pulled over for a quick bite to eat. My guide suggested we eat at a popular local spot that has some famous Amis dishes. We just stopped for some lunch on the side of this tree. I believe this is the Amis restaurant and we're gonna have some, we're gonna have some dishes here. I want to show you guys some of the food. I feel I'm going to make a mess. <laughs> it's so sticky, right? I'm struggling. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I got some. So this restaurant is famous for the flying fish. And there's a little bit on top of this rice ball. Ironic because usually I don't like fish. However, the fly fish that was put into this rice wasn't overpowering and had a nice balance. Then we drove, I believe, a bit more south to see another one of nature's works of art here in Hualien. 
Okay, we've come to the place that I found on Instagram. I've been looking forward to, and it's this massive rock formation. And it's formed because, again, because of the volcano. So like the black sand beach, as well as these rocks. The white rock formation, many people climb to the top to take pictures, which I did, but be warned, it may be dangerous for small children. From the White Cliffs, you can drive about six minutes to Shimon and see its natural form sea caves. Do you guys see the car? <laughs> can you see it? I don't think you guys can see, but there's a monkey. Oh my God, there's a monkey. I love monkeys. But don't come near me, please. I got to see many places today and just as the tour was wrapping up and we were heading back into Hualien City, we made one more pit stop. Okay, it stopped raining. Woo! You can see the clouds behind me. I love, I just love the clouds on the mountains like that. Just making a pit stop on the way back to the city. This is Pacific Ocean Park, I think. There's quite a big bike path here, so you can go all the way down from the south do, 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 to the north. Well, the garbage truck is coming. There it is. Okay, I'm back in the hotel room. I washed my body off because, wow. <laughs> I don't, I cannot remember the last time I sweat that much. I'm getting hungry, Annie's on her way. She's gonna be here soon. Hi ah, guys, I'm with Annie, Hi, she arrived. <laughs> Look, you're gonna see her for the next few videos or a few days. We're gonna go eat dinner at the night market. What's it's not name? raining today, so this is our chance. It, it rained on me all day. <laughs> You took the rain away. I know. The rain just follows me. <laughs> so we are here at Dong Damen. Yes. <laughs> Name our guest. All right, actually we came back to eat because it's really hot. Yeah, it's Hence hot. like how I look. But we got a bunch of different things. I got the shikwa zhi, which is almost gone. What is that? I got um, l lemon ayu jelly. Nimong ayu. I don't know how to say ayu in English. What is ayu made from? I think it's it's a fig, and then they like wash it. Oh. With like it's like a fig, and then like they wash water through it, and then the jelly comes out. <laughs> That's like the most basic <laughs> description I could give. And then okay, we got a bunch of different things. I see this here all the time, but I've never actually had it. It's like barbecue corn on a stick. It's the spicy one. Yeah. How much was this? Eat by quad. It was 100. Oh, yeah, that's 100 expensive. Because they weigh it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When, when we got this, the guy was like, This is how you eat it. You take the bottom and you squeeze it, and then it comes up. I was oh, like, really? Oh, yeah. This is the famous. This is. Uh, sausage in a yes, sausage. Yes, yes. I forget what the Chinese is. Da, da chang bao xiao oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sausage wrapped in a sausage, but it's not because the outside part is rice yeah. in a bun. Is it pickles? Yeah, some sa sour sour oh. vegetable. It's called sun cai, which literally translates sun to sour, sour vegetables. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What is sauerkraut? What's, what is sauerkraut? I don't know. It's an American thing. Sauerkraut's German, isn't it? Okay, cut that out. <laughs> cut! <laughs> like yeah, cheers. Cheers. Not so spicy. I think I got the little mm -hmm. little spice. Mm -hmm. I could have went higher, but it's good. It's chewy. It just falls right off the corn. Mm. Like it's not, 
like corn on the cob in Canada when you're like. <laughs> How about yours? Is it good? Oh, you didn't even get any of the sausage. Yeah, it's okay. Um, it's it's okay. <laughs> I've, I've had better ones. Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> chew it. <laughs> it's so chewy. So actually, I've I've never had any of this before. I don't know what to expect. The rice sausage on the bottom, with well, the rice sausage as mm -hmm. the bun, it kind of reminds me of mochi. Oh yeah, because it's like it's glutinous so chewy. rice. Yeah. I didn't expect that. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I was expecting, honestly. But it's good. I mean, I like the sausage. Mm -hmm. I like sausage. It's tasty. And, and let me swan tie. It's good. It's like pickles, but like leafy pickles. Ooh. Oh, that one looks good. This was a good one to open. Ooh. I think this is a huge one. Chicken, pork, pork. The bun is so soft. I've never held one. Really? Oh, you eat like that? I like it. Mm hmm. That one's with the honey mustard, right? Yours doesn't have honey mustard? This one looks like it does. Maybe they all secretly have Maybe. it. I don't know. I don't know. Slightly salty. Mm -hmm. I could do without the noodles, personally. Yeah. Oh, I know what it is. It's what the is black it? pepper noodles. Um, oh, I forgot about asked, it. Like, yeah, if yeah, you want black yeah. pepper or mushroom. Oh. That's why. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. <laughs> this is better than I expected. That one? I don't know. I don't know in general. Mm. I like how soft the bun is. Mm. It's like steamed. It must be steamed. Mm. 